and welcome to the Hungaro ring for the fourth round of the 2017 International GT Open. So far this season we've had six incredibly close and interesting races. The championship fight is really close because we hit the midway point of the season. So let's take a look at the very best of the action. Mikael Mack, who led away from pole position at the start of the seventh race of the season alongside Lance D'Arnold and Giovanni Venturini as they headed towards Turn 1. It was really those three cars that gave us the story of the afternoon. It was a lightning getaway from Duncan Tappy, brought the Garage 59 McLaren up into fourth position. They were all cleanly through in the opening stages as one of the stories of the first half of the race was the formidable progress of Marco Ciocci from the very back of the grid. Chocic hustling his way past Vitantoni Liuzzi eventually up to about 8th place by the time the pit stops happened. Post pit stops though, it all went wrong for the number 8 Ferrari, Ferrari attack between Cobb Ledegar and here Giuseppe Perazzini rotating. Perazzini Ledegar thereafter was an absolute charge and eventually finished in 12th overall. Front of the field though, Miguel Ramos was leading the way as behind Thomas Jaeger was flying in the Letna Racing Mercedes as was Vito Postiglione in the second Imperial Early Racing Lamborghini. But this then, a decisive moment of the race, as Mingo Ramos tagged Johnny Molum as he was putting a lap on the FF course for Ferrari. That promoted Valentin Pierberg into the lead of the race. With a slight error into Turn 1 from Pierberg, gave the opening for Thomas Biaggi, who was able to scythe his way past. And so it's Thomas Biaggi and Giovanni Venturini who scored their first victory of the season. Second place going to Valentin Pierberg and Lance D'Arnold and Miguel Ramos and Mikel Mack completing the outright race podium. We deserve it after a brilliant job of the team doing all the flip practice yesterday. And uh, to be honest, the car was quite perfect. And uh, I did the start and then I passed the car to Thomas and finished the job and uh, finally we win. Thomas, uh, the fi final part of the race was quite lively. A very nice duel uh, also with lapped uh, drivers, but at the end you made it. Yeah, I was pushing like hell. Uh, as uh, Giovanni says, uh, Imperiale Racing and Lamborghini, they did a fantastic job. The car was uh, set up in a perfect way. I was missing a lot on the straight compared to Mercedes, so it was not easy to pass him. I knew that uh, the only moment where I could pass him was uh, with some action, some uh, car to lap in front, and uh, it happened, uh, luckily. So then I achieved this uh, fantastic victory for me, the second overall in the championship, and uh, that's good for our championship uh, position. It's Fran Rueda who led away from pole positions. The 24 car field surged towards turn one for the start of the eighth race of the international GT Open season. Thomas Jaeger though running Rueda close as it was very tight in the opening exchanges. Com Ledegar also trying to sneak through and gain ground as behind Jerry Maltrek was rotated after Mike Benham just tagged Sean Bow and Bow tagged the BMW. Behind, there was plenty of jostling for position in the early stages. Torino Mastronaldi was on a flyer in the SF Racing Ferrari, trying to carve his way up through the pack. Meanwhile, talking point further back, Philip from Avila and the Renko Bear out of Viega making contact. Unfortunately, the Lexus and BMW eliminated as a result. Post pit stops, it was Victor Bouvet who had the lead. Everybody else was fighting for second behind Marcello Hahn in the Drive X Mercedes. It was a wonderful tussle that was eventually decided in favour of Mikel Mack and Andrea Fontana. But as Hahn tried to find his way back past Fontana, he was just a little bit over enthusiastic, spinning around, and that promoted Alex West to the lead of the Pro Am class. West, though, had no easy cruise line as he was chased down by both Giovanni Venturini and Norbert Seidler. 
Paul Mario, the shooter, tried to dispute class honours. However, it was victory for Victor Bouvenk and Fran Rueda, a win that takes them to within two points of the championship lead with Mikel Mack and Miguel Ramos tied now at the top of the standings alongside Venturini and Biaggi. We maximized the result yesterday, and today, well, it's just keeping the position, not not losing the race. We were on pole, and then from there, the first few laps were really good from my side. Then the Mercedes got me, but I kept it uh, as cold as I could, and and yes, a, a good race from all the team, from, from Victor. Also, we did, a, we, I think we did a, a really good job. It's never easy. You go out there, you don't know how big the gap will be, so you push as much as you can. You have to make sure to have a good pace in the beginning and then try to get a gap and it worked pretty well and from from mid of my stint we tried to just to to keep the distance and and this guy over here did a mega job this morning to getting pole and then yeah it had a great mega day and the team made a perfect job with strategy as Fran said before from to play it with a strategy and it worked pretty well so we're back here on the on the top step of the podium so let's continue this way